of 28 years and never once have we seen a rat. That was until two weeks ago when rats started showing up in her yard and she says she knows why the rats are on the move. So many Channel 11 viewers have contacted us since 11 investigates. Michelle Newell did a story on rat problems in Brookline last week and she followed the trail to Carrick and saw the problem firsthand, maybe a little too close for comfort. There are a number of different neighborhoods experiencing a rat problem, including right here in Carrick. They're about this big, maybe even bigger sometimes. They're huge. Rats are roaming the streets of Carrick. Walk up the city steps, rats running around, all in the bushes up there across the street. It is just a family of rats. Oh, look, there's a rat. And I screamed oh, when we saw one as we were interviewing neighbors. There were never rats before. Now it's just overridden with rats. The problem is so bad. Michelle Shahan is concerned about letting her daughter play outside. I've seen them in her playhouse. Yes. <laughs> So they're using that as shelter now. They think one of their neighbors is feeding the problem. Grass and garbage is becoming a very large issue. Okay. It's disgusting. They even sit there on the porch and feed them because I seen them the other day feeding them. We talked to their neighbor about it. The food hasn't been out in days. OK, I haven't been feeding anything in days. When I can afford it, I buy these huge rat traps. Ed Stout is blind. He says he needs help getting his grass cut and believes the rats are coming from a lot behind his house. Every cut. single year, every single year I have had to fight with the city to get the lot next to my home uh, cut. I mean, grass was as high, eight foot high. Okay, they finally cut the grass today in the lot. Carrick isn't the only neighborhood with rats. Just last week, we talked to neighbors in Brookline about their rat problem. They believe mounting garbage and overgrown weeds are to blame. They are getting some help now, but aren't in the clear. And people in Polish Hill are reporting rat problems too. The city offers a rodent baiting program, but all the neighbors we've spoken to say they are running into similar issues with it. It's about three weeks to get your bait box. So it doesn't matter how bad that the issue actually is. We still have to wait because there's such a large population of the rats that we can't get any relief unless we do it ourselves. We asked the city if there is a waiting list for its rodent baiting program and if there are complaints about rats in other neighborhoods. A representative for the city told us properties are cited for not maintaining their property. They are looking into the other questions we asked. Michelle Newell, Channel 11 News.